Hi, Russ Hunt from Russ Hunt Guitars here. And by request and no shameless self-promotion, this video is being produced as a teaching tool because I was asked to do it. How about that? All right, so uh, Moku is named after this guitar, Tapa Moku, which is made by Jersey Girl Guitars in Japan. Uh, principally, the principal luthier is Kaz G, so you should reach out to him. I am absolutely unaffiliated with um, that organization in any way as an artist. I just love the guitar and I own it. So, oh, I should say that I think he put the song in there and I found it which is why we're talking about the whole thing anyway. All right, so if you want to know more uh, about the guitar nerdery, the theory, and all of the underpinnings and workings that I use as a composer to write it, uh, I do clinics. You just have to check the, uh, the RussHuntGuitar.com um, for whenever those things are having. They're free. I absolutely free. I just put merch out and, you know, kind of low-key expect people to buy it. But I kid, I kid. Anyway. So you can hit me up uh, with that. So I'm going to take it down by just playing through different sections of the song. Um, and then I'll probably uh, do a snippet at the end of the video. Um, it's going to be kind of clunky because I'm pretty new to doing this non-cell phone video thing with separate audio and um, better res video. So bear with me. Anyway, I'll probably do a playthrough with... Um, my orchestration with the drums and um, piano as well, but I'll try and just do my best here to break the individual sections down. Now, because I am an over-the-board um, player, some people call that tapping. I think that's short-sighted. I don't really like it. It is what it is. Um, so you just, you're going to have to be cognizant of um, my string groupings as I unfold the melody. You notice that it goes up to go down. There's this uh, motive that I'll talk about, which is a compositional technique and uh, change in register. So just watch the whole uh, the whole thing. All right, so from the top, we have this large unfolding chord. And then I pluck those two strings with my pinky. And then I get a tension by playing up that way. And then there's another dyad that the F and G are played over. Okay, so the song opens that way. Um, and then theme one unfolds. So it slid in, it's like a slide from nowhere. And then an obvious tap with the third finger. And then. And then a different set of attacks, which I suppose if you were um, using this with picking, um, you would pick, 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 slide, pick, slide. It's kind of hard to talk to a camera and play. It's not something I'm used to. Be nice. Okay, so that's the whole unfolding um, of the melody at the beginning. So uh, from there, it's I'm going to use a set of dyads or two string um, notes, just two, and walk up the fretboard on the two uh, highest strings. So. Now you could pick these and it would have a nice bite, but I pull off on them and I shake them with the bar. In, uh, in a syncopated manner with the rhythm, okay? And that, that sets up the next part of the phrase, which is... Again, the sigh, the whole... Right? Really gentle, sort of classical guitar style vibrato there. So it's more of a side to side rather than an up and down. And I will change the vibrato um, to affect uh, the tone and the feel of the phrase. Um, so that's that's something that's worth mentioning is um, experiment with your vibrato on it. Um, I'm not gonna say there's a, a right or a wrong way, but um, different technique definitely lends itself uh, to different f phrasing. Um, easiest way to say that. Okay, from here it goes into a syncopated section with the drums and the piano. 
and it's tapped octaves. And then that bit is a further extension of the syncopation um, as I'm shaking the higher note in the octave and it's going out of tune against the principal note. And um, when I play it against the regular track, you'll hear that. Okay, so then that's theme two. Theme two then has a, a, a further a variation on itself to lead it to the solo, and it, and it starts much the same way. And that's it in a nutshell. Uh, also, I would like to note that the delay setting is a quarter note setting with about three repeats um, synced to the session at 125 beats a minute. And it, it really does lend a nice slapback. And it helps me with the timing too. You know, you should have your foot going, but the delay slap um, is pretty nice. Anyway. Let me uh, transition on to the playthrough.